In this video, I'll show you how to add an audio visualizer effect to your videos in Filmora 11. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So, audio visualizers are good ways to keep your audience engaged. Uh, you can see them used in some music videos. Uh, and also, if you're doing podcasts and you want to add waveforms to your videos or your short clips, maybe for social media, it's a good way to increase engagement. Now, it's pretty simple to do that in Filmora 11 and I'll show you step by step so you'll need to add your media and uh, for example here we are going to use this particular music let's just drag and drop it to the timeline uh, that's okay uh, you can decide if you want to use all of it or not it's up to you next up we'll need to add maybe an image a video etc for this i'll use the stock medias library and there are a bunch of things they have they are their videos uh the photos etc whatever uh, you want to use in this so uh, let's try and spice it up a little bit. Uh, maybe we might need to use maybe something like this footage. Let's just add this. And then we can just come in here, zoom in slightly. So that we just right about there. Let's just control B to split this. And then let's delete this part. Let's go back home. So we've got our visual, uh, our audio down here and our, our video uh, right here. If we play it, looks really good nothing much to say now the audio visualizer effect is more or less a good way to keep your audience engaged so we can do this uh, we can do two things we can go to the effects tab and then from this section you can click on audio visualizer effects now there are a bunch of them uh, there are about 25 of them at the time of recording this video and you can just see how they look like uh, when you hover over this so it looks like that this one looks like that uh, more or less, you may need to add some uh, music uh, or just place it on top here so that you see clearly how it looks like. So we can just go with this one. This one looks good. Let's just drag and drop it here. So uh, let's stretch it out to feel uh, to this particular section. That's good. And if we play it, you'll notice some few things. So as the video is actually playing you see when the beats hits the be uh the waveforms move up and down looks really good so if you're doing music videos for youtube this would be a good thing to use now we can spice it up by maybe adding the face of the artist uh, and we can just go to the stock media and look maybe for this photo let's assume that's the singer just stretch it out to the end I fill that section and then what we can do, we may need to mask this. Let's just double click on this and then click on mask. Uh, let's go up. The masks are up somewhere up here. Let's use the circle mask. Uh, looks good. We can scroll down maybe to change the width to about 30 so that they are uh, the same size with the height. When you hit enter, looks good. We might need to reduce this to 25 and then this one to 25 as well. Uh, looks good, but we might need to adjust this slightly. 23, 23, yeah, 23 again. Uh, I think it looks good. We can just move it slightly there. <coughs> and I think it looks good. So uh, if we actually click OK, you can just play this. So when it goes to the. Looks good. Uh, maybe something else we can add. Maybe it's something like a drop shadow double click on that and then we can just uh, go up somewhere here click on the drop shadow and the drop shadow looks good you can change the color maybe to a white i think so i think it looks good and then click ok so move back home play your video It looks good now uh, you can decide to add more visual effects uh, to this let's click on home let's go to effects and then we look at maybe you may want to insert whatever a form of wave maybe a line wave uh, let's say maybe we go with uh, let's let's pick something else let's pick something like this uh, this one once we do that just move it here place it there it looks good if you play your particular clip 
looks good so we can actually just click on it and then uh, we can just double click uh, we want to change the position uh, for the Y it's the up and down let's just bring it down slightly by bringing the slider to the left so adjust it to where you want it to be let it just be somewhere right there now uh, the good thing with this is that you can also change the color you can also change the size you can scale the X the sides let's move it uh, maybe to be a little bit bigger uh, looks good and then as for the height let it be a little bit uh, smaller maybe some something like that as for the maybe the position let's just bring it down back to almost the baseline of that video looks good and then you can change the color to whatever color or you can actually select a color from here let's say we pick this one looks good and if we actually now click OK and play our video I think it looks good uh, you can do a bunch of things here you can actually even add text or titles or whatever that you want really depends on what you're looking for maybe the title of the singer uh, whatever you want so let's just say we add this uh, we call it whatever uh, uh, maybe fast song uh, it depends on what you want choose whatever font that you want from here let's say we go with articulate and then we can just position it maybe somewhere up here uh, and then you can scale it reduce its size slightly you can change the text color to be whatever you want uh, let's just scroll down and see any other options here you can rotate uh, control Z that doesn't look good you can just move it slightly see the blend modes different blend modes that are available here uh, but let's uh, stop uh, stop at that and then we can just adjust this to the end so we move it there and then we can go back home uh, play this video looks good and if you think that the uh, visualizer effect is not clear enough you can just double click on the video or this particular layer and uh, what we want to do here is we want to I believe we want to change uh, what is it called uh, the opacity we just bring it down slightly that looks good everything now looks visible and then we can click OK and play our video I think now everything looks good so you can just bring down the opacity looks good and then if you're satisfied you can just export your video but that is how you can easily add an audio visualizer effect in Filmora 11 Thank you for watching this video. My name is David and until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.